Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. EQA Nostalgia here. And this is a moment I know some of you guys have been waiting for. What does EQA Nostalgia think of H Hour? It's it's a question that's been on some minds out there. You know, I don't want to sound like an arrogant prick, but some people have been wondering exactly what your take on the game is. And there's been a lot of people that have been hating on me, saying, you haven't played it yet. You can't give an accurate assessment. You can't slam the game. You haven't played it. Well, I've fucking played it now. So suck it. You can't tell me that shit anymore. You can't tell me I haven't played it. I've played it. And actually, what you're looking at right now is my first experience in the game. My first experience right here. Okay? Obviously, I'm just spectating at this point. Graphically, as soon as I got in, I was going, hmm, not too bad. Graphics really aren't that bad. I'm not going to be like, oh, it looks like shit. When you're playing it, it looks better. It's fluid. The movement and everything seems like, just with the mouse, I don't mean the character models. I'll get into that in a minute. Everything feels pretty fluid when you're moving. It's, you know, it works. It's functional. I like that. I like functional games. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but just to backpedal a little bit, the game is free right now on Steam for this weekend. The game was $25, and I had a fucking serious problem with that. And I'm going to get into that right now. I told SOF directly on Steam, you're charging too much for this game. A whole fucking shitstorm of drama fell on top of me. Everybody's like, you're a fucking hater, you're a douchebag. People calling me names left and right, and I stayed civil. I stayed about as civil as you can. I was just concerned. And let me clear this up right now. I don't want H hour to fail. I never fucking did. I'm not a hater just for the sake of hating. I've had problems with SOF Studios, and they are well documented. I've got videos on it. I, I encourage you to go back and watch them all if you haven't seen them. Because I'll tell you what, I've been covering this shit since the inception. Since it was on Kickstarter. You can follow the trail of breadcrumbs all the way up to now. And how I went from, oh my god, I can't wait, to what the fuck, SOF. You can follow that trail right now in my videos. Just go into my playlist and click on H Hour SOCOM Related. There's a whole bunch of shit to just keep you occupied if you're bored this weekend, all right? So, never wanted to see it fail. I'm not just a hater. So I got to get that history out there. I came into their their Steam forums and told them, it's too much money. It's too early. Before I even said it was too much money, the first thing I posted was, it's too fucking early. Locked. Moved. Silenced. Shut the fuck up. We don't want to hear it. Why? You need to listen to your fans if they tell you something. Is, if it's too early, it's too early. The game as it is now, I think if I think that right about now would probably be a good time for early access. You've got the three maps, two game modes. Okay, fine. Let's do it. But it's been out for how long now? And the development has been slow. Let's be fair. There's only a few people working on this. I get it. It takes a lot of money to make a game. 300000 is a lot of money. Blah, 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 blah. I understand all that shit. But I'm looking at this as a gamer. What? As just a gamer. Not, a, not even so much as a SOCOMer. I'm trying to disconnect that SOCOMer feel and just say... Is this worth $25? No. And I still stand by that. I don't think it's worth $25. If, if it was to still be $25, I gotta give them props. They lowered it to 15 and right now it's on sale for 12 something. But the burning question on everybody's mind is is it worth $12 EQ and nostalgia? Is it worth $15? I think it is. If you're willing to see this through and given the fact that I can't predict the future. This shit might fall apart. If there's a future for this game, if I can go into the future and say, oh, yeah, it's doing great. You should buy in. I'd tell you, oh, no. I don't know if this game's going to flop and go tits up. Some people are saying, oh, it's done. This is the last gasp. They brought it out for free and they lowered the price. This is They're running out of steam on it. This could be shut down in a month. It's risky. You're risking your $12, $15. If you happen to get it while it's on sale, 12 whatever, 15 if you don't. But as of right now, I think it's worth that price. And I said that before. I said, you know, I would have gotten this game for 15 bucks, 10 $15, I would have done it. So I can't, I can't exactly backpedal now and say, no, don't do that. Don't do it. It's not worth your money because fuck them because reasons. I'm not like that. 
I'm trying to disconnect this re- this review or this first impressions. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. I'm trying to disconnect this from the bullshit that's gone on with them to give it a fair shake. And all these people bitching at me, dude, give it a fair shake. Well, I'm giving it a fair shake. I downloaded it free to play. And I'm not going to fucking lie, dude. I've been, I was, I've been having some fun with it. It's got problems. It's definitely got problems. But I was testing out the lean, and you can throw grenades around the corner. I'm like, fuck, they're not bouncing off the walls. Holy shit. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. <laughs> if, you know, if you're one of those people who played fucking Confrontation, you know that that shit was a no-go. You couldn't throw grenades around corners. They bounce off. And, uh, you know, I think it's pretty cool. I messed around with the sniper rifle for a little while. You can actually zoom all the way in and shoot. This is pretty cool. My biggest gripe with this game, and I want to get this out of the way, is that when someone fucking shoots me, I just don't feel, like, the impact. I mean, I don't expect my, like, physical body to be like, oh, I'm getting shot, oh, obviously, right? Maybe it's because I'm not holding a controller and I don't feel the vibration. But I feel like there should be some sort of when my body gets hit. Like, I should, like, I should know. I'm, fuck, I'm getting hit. I can't tell you how many times I've run out and all of a sudden, done. Where the fuck did that come from? All of a sudden, I'm like, where the hell did that come from? And, and there's like, it doesn't show you. It doesn't like go to the person and you can see them or something. It doesn't, there's like nothing you can do to figure out where it came from. And that feels really cheap. When you die, it feels cheap because you don't know where it comes from. So instantly, every death feels cheap to you if you, if, you know, unless you're like staring at the guy and you're having a, you know, like an epic fucking battle, which I will say that my favorite part about this game is when you do line up with someone and you have that dogfight moment it, it's you're in socom 2 for a minute just for a minute you're there and you're like oh yes i remember this feeling left right strafe don't hit me fucking die that you get that you do get that but there's a lot of noise there too that's getting in the way all right and part of that noise is the fact that the guns sound like shit these guys were at a firing range and I remember this shit. I remember seeing pictures and they're out there shooting guns. What were they just drinking beer, having a good time? What were, they, what were you guys doing? These guns sound fucking terrible. And when you throw grenades, sometimes it sounds like something out of Star Wars. Is this a fucking thermal detonator? It's like... That's not how a grenade sounds, dude. A grenade goes... I mean, I can make a better grenade sound just by voicing it out than what I'm hearing here. It's like, it's like this weird... <laughs> What the fuck? Fix the sound. It's not a big gripe, but it is a gripe. It's an issue. The UI feels pretty decent. It feels kind of generic. I heard that uh, the fans kind of designed it. I don't know. I don't know. The guns, when I shoot them, they do feel pretty solid. I heard that they were a fucking wreck, but when I was shooting the M4A1 SD, which has always been my favorite weapon, that and the HK5 SD, always my favorite weapons. uh, No HK5 SD, I don't... I don't think, I didn't see one anyway. I have only played for a couple hours, so I don't think it's there. M4A1 SD feels pretty decent when I'm shooting it. You know, I was expecting it to be a mess when I fire, but it does feel pretty decent. But then again, I've I've shot at people, and I'm like, you know, you should be dead. And then all of a sudden, I'm dead. But that that's something that happened in SOCOM 2 a lot, mostly due to, like, latency. I don't know. I need more time with it to fuck with the guns before I can really give a final assessment on the gunplay. But, yeah, my biggest gripe is you just don't know what the fuck is going on when you're getting shot. It's like, where is this coming from? What's going on? Oh, my God, dead. And sometimes you don't even have that, just dead. And you're, and you're wondering, you're left wondering, what the fuck? So that happens, and it sucks. Now, in terms of the maps, Sismus, I mean, I think it's a pretty looking map. It doesn't look anything like the Unity 4, or the, uh, yeah, Unity 4, Unreal 4 engine. Like, when you went into the church, it looked fucking amazing, right? What they showed us, what it could possibly be, looked so much better than what it is. But it doesn't look that bad. I'm not a big graphics whore. The layout of it, it's like a bowl. And no one wants to go in the middle of the bowl, because you go in the middle of the bowl and you're a dead motherfucker. No one goes in there. Everybody just kind of hangs out in the outskirts and, like, someone will pop into a building or hop up on top of a roof and get a snipe kill real quick. So it's one of those maps where no one, when no one's really mixing in the middle because there's not enough cover down in there. We need more cover down in there. We need some sort of clutter down there. And I had an issue where I was just coming out of the spawn as a terrorist and I've already got hit. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, I didn't even feel the impact at all. Like, no blood came off of me, no thump, no nothing. All of a sudden, my health bar went down to 18%. 
And I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm almost dead. Where did that come from? And that's, you know, some of my map awareness isn't that great. I've just started playing. But someone got a shot off on me that fast, literally like three steps out of the spawn, I'm almost dead. That's not good. Not at that distance. This kind of shit, I remember this did happen in Frostfire. If you were a seal and you went off to the right, and you, you could get shot by a motherfucker with the quickness from the platform or on the platform, depending on who got that shot off. And yes, grenades would come out quick on Frostfire and you'd die. But this is a bigger map than Frostfire. People are getting hits and kills from way too far away. This dude had a submachine gun and fucking blasted this dude from across the map. The footage might be on here. I don't know if I'm going to edit that in or if I'm just going to let it just roll. But yeah, he, he took this dude out from all the way across the map with like a... What is it, a F90, P90, some shit, submachine gun. Took him out like it was nothing. The grouping on that fucking gun, in real life, at that distance? No, dude, just no. You're not going to take someone out that far away. Like, you might get lucky and one of the fucking bullets happens to hit him, but that is an not an accurate weapon from that type of distance. But, uh, you know, I like the fact that you can chat. That's pretty cool. I like that. The mics are fucked up. You try to talk to someone, forget it. It's not... You're not going to be able to talk to him because like... <laughs> you can hear people trying to... He's behind the fucking shed. And that's all you hear. You know, it's like he's behind... Oh, I'm already dead. He was behind the shed. That's what he was... Oh, okay. The mics aren't working. What's with the fucking mic lag? Fix that shit, dude. So yeah, there's, there's, it's got a lot of work. Do I see potential here? Yes, I do. Given whose hands it's in, and yeah, now, don't really like Tom. Don't like what Tom's been doing. His public relations is a fucking nightmare, dude. But I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Sismus, nah, eh, it's okay. I like when I get into a scrap with someone over by the church when they go left and I go right as the, uh, as a terrorist. I go to the head to the right hand side. I think that's yeah. I don't know. Over by the church there. It feels pretty cool when you fight over there and you know. But, eh, I don't really like it. Factory, on the other hand, we're just going to, I'm, I'm going to stop talking for a second and fast forward this beautiful bean footage. So, Factory, really awesome name, by the way. I got to give you guys credit. Factory! What the fuck? <laughs> you can see my buddy Tawak's in here. A Pocky Tawak, chilling like a villain. I think I killed him and danced on him, too, just to be a dick, because you know, I know him from TRS. Because I'm an asshole. But, uh, yeah, Factory, what's with the fucking name? I don't know. Who cares? This is a pretty decent map, aside from one issue that I have at the start of the map. It's kind of weird, because like, if this room was on fire, right, and everybody had to just get out, you'd fucking die because no one can get through that door. <laughs> if everybody runs to that door, you all stand there like, oh, God, oh, God, can't. Get everybody back up, quick. They're going to get ahead of us. And everybody backs up, and then they single file go through the door. You can't, like, bunch up on the door, so there's a little... I think the opening needs to be bigger. Make the opening bigger so people don't get stuck on the door, right? But for the most part, I fucking love this map. I know there's people that were talking shit about it, like, eh, this map sucks, blah, blah, blah. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It gives me a, a bit of a Frostfire vibe when I'm down in those tunnels, jumping around like a, like a fucking crack fiend, trying not to get hit as I go around the corners. It gives me a little bit of that nostalgic feeling, that, that SOCOM feels like, oh, I hope they don't have an auto shotty down here. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> but yeah, Factor is a pretty good map, dude. I haven't played Wolf Run. Like I said, I've only played a couple of hours. But I like this map. I really do. I like it. For some reason, I uh, I think on the minimap it shows you where the map is, but just because I started playing, I'm so confused. Like, where am I going? And blah blah blah. I don't know where to go. I don't know if like there's like an indicator or something that I'm just not picking up on. I know that when the bomb is planted, it does show you the two bombs points, I believe. But uh, for the most part, I do like this map. I think it was well designed. I think it's fun, and I like it. But I can see it getting old very quickly. But I, but when I do play, when I, I'm just like, I'm just gonna be playing this map because I like this map because this map is fucking sweet. But yeah, I remember they were showing concept art of it back in the day with like the factory thing going on, and uh, they had like this baby that they were trying to do something weird with. I can't remember. But yeah, factory, 
kick-ass map. Highly recommend you just stay in this map, like, perpetually as you play the game. <laughs> and uh, I've been having fun in this map. Not gonna lie, I like this map. I think it's fun. I'm repeating myself, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, if I had to offer SOF advice, not that they would listen to me because they just think I'm a hater. I actually care about the game. I want it to succeed, believe it or not. Fucking crazy, right? If I had to offer them advice, <clears throat> excuse me, I would say don't worry so much about your animation and shit. Yeah, you can also push that, which I thought was pretty cool. Somebody paid attention to Crossroads. Um, if I had to give you guys advice, don't worry too much about the animation. Yeah, that needs to be worked out and all that shit and, and the sound. Your biggest thing right now, your two biggest things, is fuck, I don't know where I just got shot from, and how come there's only three maps? We need more maps, guys. And, you know, I, I know it takes time to do these things. And Russ Phillips, he's only been being paid so much money, so how much is he going to pour into this thing? I don't know. But, Russ, if, if you do watch this, you probably won't ever get to see it. But, dude, this game is heavily depending on you. You've got to bring the maps. Or, at the very least, SOF needs to give us some sort of editor so we can recreate our SOCOM maps. If they did that, that would be fucking genius. Okay, that would be a stroke of genius if you guys gave us some sort of editing tools. Sure, there'd be people saying, Haha, SOF can't make their own maps. They gotta fucking outsource to the community. <laughs> give us the editing tools. Let us recreate those classic maps. And I can see people having a lot of fun with this. But you gotta fix that hit detection shit. Like, well, not hit detection. I wouldn't call it that. You gotta fix, like, how come I don't know where I'm getting hit from? I don't know how you can do that. And might be because I don't have a controller. I don't feel the vibration. But there should be some sort of blood or something that indicates where it's coming from. What the fuck? Where am I getting shot from, man? There's no indication to, to, as to where that's coming from at all. And I don't think... I'm pretty sure there's no, like, flashing arrows to show you where the enemy's shooting from. I kind of want to see that in there. I didn't notice it. If maybe... It's in there, and I just didn't notice my two hours of playtime. I'm sorry. Pretty sure it's not there. We need to jump to climb. That's pretty important. But what you guys really got, you really, really, really got to get this down, is you got to fix it so that people know they're getting hit. Some sort of impact has to happen, dude. Blood spray. Something. You know, make it like a doop, 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 doop when you're getting hit so you can understand that shit. I have heard ricochet and, the, you know, the home, pew, 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 that, that stuff happens. I know that's there. But, yeah, I don't know when I'm getting hit, where I'm getting hit from, what the fuck, unless I'm looking at someone. I don't know I don't know if the game's got guns hot, I haven't noticed. Guns hot is a thing that I think should be in the game. Some people don't like guns hot. And if you're not a SOCOM, I'll explain. Your gun gets, you know, your guy raises his gun up if there's an enemy nearby. Even if you happen to see them or not. It just adds a little bit of that, oh shit moment. You'll be running along and all of a sudden your gun jumps up and you're like, fuck, you stop in your tracks, you crouch down. Where is he? That gives you that tense SOCOM feeling that people want, man. That's what I want to see. I want to see the gun jump up. I haven't noticed it. Maybe it's there, but it's real subtle. Get that in there. But, yeah, most importantly, maps. Let me know when I'm getting shot. Two biggest things you guys got to do. Because I think that you have a winning formula here. I, but but I, I honestly think that you released it too fucking early, man. I told you on your forums, and no, I know Tom didn't personally ban me. I know other people were responsible for that, but you need to put a fucking leash on your moderators, bro, because they're out of control. They've always been out of control, and they're a big problem with of, of why this game is where it is now, because you pissed off a lot of people. I came out and told you that you cannot release this too early. Everybody's got to eat. Get it. I get it. But sometimes you got to take one for the team. That's just how it is. I mean, look, when I first started my fucking channel, I wasn't making money. And right now, I don't make I don't make shit. I'll be honest with you. I'm lucky if I make like $50 a month off of what I do here. That's on a good month. I don't make shit doing this. So, you know, humble beginnings, man. Sometimes you just got to knuckle down and get something to where it needs to be before you release it. And I understand why you guys, at least I think I understand why you guys put it for a free-to-play weekend. I don't know if this is accurate, but, you know, we did have yesterday, we had the uh, 
13th anniversary of SOCOM 1. Fuck me, I'm getting old. Yes, 13 years. 2002, SOCOM 1. Changed my fucking life, dude. First online game ever. Amazing times with my cousin. Rest in peace, brother. I love you. I miss you. But yeah, it that, that game, it meant a lot to me, man. I want to see this succeed. And I don't know if you guys did that because, you know, of the anniversary and you wanted that nostalgia thing there. But then, at the, then again, at the same time, you kind of picked a shitty time because there's other games that are that are free this weekend, too, that are a little bit more popular. <laughs> but here's the thing. Eh, maybe the free weekend should have came a little bit later because now we're seeing a lot of negative reviews from people. Not good. You know, the game going on sale, I don't see a problem with that. Good on you, bro. Good on you. I think you needed to reduce that price. I'm going to give you credit for that. I don't think it should have been 25 right out the gate. I told you that. I got hit with defamation, slander, abuse, all this other shit, and you banned me off of your fucking, off of your, uh, your Steam forums, which is perma ban too. They didn't even ban me for like a couple of days, okay, for just saying constructive shit. Never, I never fucking badmouthed anybody at all. Like I think I, I think I cut loose on suede a couple times. Because, I mean, that guy is the biggest fucking troll in the world. Everybody knows this, okay? But for the most part, I was civil. And yeah, permabanned. For telling them, reduce the price, it's too early, and and to t- and I told people stop making inflative, inflated reviews. Unrealistic reviews, saying, this is the best thing since SOCOM 2. No, it's not. It's fucking early access. It's rough and it's ugly, but if you believe and you want to see it grow, then put your money down. But don't tell people it's amazing, because it's not amazing. And this was before, this was months ago, before we even had this map. We only had one game mode. The guns fired like shit. They're, I'm going to assume they're firing better now. They feel pretty decent. But yeah, I've got a history with SOF. You guys done pissed me off. Do I think what you're doing here is pretty decent? Yeah, man, I think it can. I think this can be something. But you gotta fucking... You, you can't just say, oh, well... I saw something with Tommy. He was like, yeah, we're sorry something or other about how things got off with the community. I don't remember the exact, exact shit that he said. But, I mean, you gotta do better than that, you know? You gotta say you're sorry because... Or I'm sorry too. I'm sorry that people got banned when they shouldn't have been banned because they were just offering constructive fucking criticism, Tom. You can't do that. And now this is out to the public and you guys are seeing exactly what we fucking told you. We told you this was going to happen. I told you guys months ago, you release this and it goes out and, and into the general public. Forget SOCOMers, the general Steam pub- public, and they are going to rip you a new fucking asshole brother and that is what they're doing right now they're ripping you a new asshole because these reviews that i'm seeing are they're they're brutal i thought socomers were brutal the shit i'm reading i'm like god damn you got knocked the fuck out bad time (laughs) bad time to release this shit for for free on the for you know it's cool because i get to fuck around with it and check it out but no man i told you guys Work on it more before you release it. And that brings you back to, well, we needed the money, but, you know, sometimes you got to take one for the team, dude. You shouldn't have released it that early, man. I understand, but at the same time, you know, you get, like, one shot at this fucking stuff. If people don't like it, they're not going to look at it again. They're not going to give you their money. And I'm seeing a lot of people on, you know, as I was playing. There's a lot of people running around, which is cool. But that's probably going to drop right off. Quick. You got to get those maps out there fast. I want to see this game succeed. SOF, you pissed me off. You owe me a personal fucking apology for banning me the way you did. It was completely fucking uncalled for. Kicking me out of the Steam group. Banning me from your forums for constructive criticism because I cared about how this game was received. Fucking dick move. And you owe others apologies. Like you have Shane. You owe other people apologies for not letting people know that David Sears was no longer there. We had to go digging. Like, where's David Sears? Oh, my bad. He's gone. Why? Nothing said about it. Just fucking, well, let's just forget that happened. You know, the guy that everybody put their money down for. It's just a sordid history there with you guys, man, you know. 
But this is getting kind of long. I don't want it to be too terribly long. But then again, it's kind of hard for me to talk about this and not have it be kind of long. <laughs> Imagine that, something that I've spent all this time on. I don't want to have a quick video. I don't want to do it quickly when I finally get my hands on it. But, yeah, you know, it's it's got work that needs to be done. I think you need to patch up your public relations. You need to go in and take a look at your staff members and maybe get rid of them. Let me tell you something. I'm an admin for two, three, three different EverQuest Online Adventures groups on Facebook. And you don't fucking talk to the community. You don't treat the community like that as an admin or a moderator. Your Your moderators are fucking garbage. I mean, these are guys that are taking shit personal and they're going too far. And I understand I've had people, you know, go crazy with me on uh, on the forum, on, uh, on Facebook, rather, with EQOA, where they just, how come I can't post about World of Warcraft private servers was the thing that popped up for me. I'm like, you're in the EverQuest group, man. Why are you fucking posting that shit? Don't post that shit here. And I had, like, a rebellion that started against me, this whole fuck the man mentality. And everybody's like, you're a fucking Nazi, you kid nostalgia. Because we can't talk about World of Warcraft private servers here on an EverQuest forum. So I understand, but you have to you have to have a certain amount of professionalism if you're going to be an admin or a moderator. You can't just let anybody do that shit and be like, oh yeah, well I'll show these little fuckers. Banned! Don't ever talk bad about this game again. Banned! You can't drop the ban hammer like that. These are your fucking customers, dude. Fuck. So yeah. Big complaint with SOS Studios. No, that's not going to change. You know, you guys done fucking burned that bridge. But yeah, do I do I recommend this game? Do I recommend you pick it up? I said before, I think I did. I, I, I've redone the video twice now. Yeah, check it out. It's free right now. Do I recommend buying it for $12? Sure, why the fuck not? If you've had fun with it, if you think that it's got a future, sure. If it stays this way and it never releases... That's, you know, that's a gamble you've got to take. I can't tell you guys, hey, throw down $12. And then, oops, <laughs> the game didn't do good. Went tits up. Now what are you going to do with your money? It's gone. <laughs> Flushed down the, down the fucking toilet. That, there's a possibility that can happen. If you don't mind taking a gamble on something, yeah, I don't see a reason why not to. The price isn't bad. It's it's not twenty five fucking dollars anymore. That's for damn sure. At this price point, buying in with the way things are going right now, with what would they have? The three maps, two different game modes. Things are kind of ironed out a little bit. Yeah, man, go for it. I've been having some fun with it. It needs work. And your fucking PR, fix it. It's a problem. But yeah, I'm EQA Nostalgia, and this has been my first impressions of H Hour. I thank you all for watching. Please take a moment to leave a like if you like this video, or you can downvote it if you're a fucking nut hugging piece of shit. Because I'm sure there's going to be some people who just like instantly downvote because it's coming from me. I don't care. That doesn't fucking bother me, dude. Downvotes don't hurt me because you're just giving me views. It doesn't put my video any further down the, the queue list for people to see. But if you did happen to enjoy this video, check out my other videos. i got a whole playlist on this shit. I'll probably be bringing out more videos on this because, you know what? I'm probably going to buy the fucking game. So there it is. There's, there's my two cents. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.